Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids, and you may well have already seen my update video on the Geekanoids channel about Apple's newly launched MacBook Pro lineup that happened just a few moments ago. Now if you haven't seen that, please head on over to the Geekanoids channel at youtube.com forward slash Geekanoids. But for this video, uh, for the Daily Tech TV channel, I thought I'd bring you a little bonus update. Apple actually snuck out a brand new page on their website today with a preview of their new operating system Mac OS X Lion. Now this new OS isn't available yet, it's due for launch in the summer of this year and they've put loads of details up about the new OS including obviously the Mac App Store that we already know about, Launchpad which we got a little sneak preview of this previously from Apple but this shows you that they are implementing the new sort of iPad style of icons where you can use gestures on the trackpad to move between screens of icons. It even supports things like folders, so very familiar for anyone who used an iPad or an iPhone or in fact an iPod Touch. We also get treated to full screen applications. This is absolutely fantastic, so it gets rid of all of those distracting borders on your screen for things like iPhoto, Mail, iCal, and of course previews when you're previewing things like PDF documents. Mission Control is very much like the expose that we've been used to already but just with a li little bit more customization and it certainly does look a bit more useful and this is going to actually group together windows within their sort of applications so we can see here on the screen these are all the Safari windows that are open on this session and it allows you just to dive in and out of applications extremely easily. Now we all love the touchpads on the laptops and I love my uh, magic trackpad that I use on my Mac Pro. Well, gestures and animations are going to be uh, a big part of Mac OS X Lion and you're going to be able to use these to zoom in and out of documents and images and a whole lot more. So really looking forward to that. Now a couple of new bits that have gone up on here that I personally hadn't heard of before, maybe you already have, but it's autosave and versions. Now Apple's time machine actually allows you to retrieve previous versions of documents and what it looks like Apple are doing with this is actually automating the process. So as you're working on a document it will automatically save changes as you go. So if something did happen, the application crashed, you wouldn't lose your changes and versions allows you to see a cascade of previous versions of a document as you've worked through it in a time machine style. So a great way of uh, sort of making things easy for people where you don't have to really think about backup so much as perhaps a pro would nowadays. Now we've also got resume. This is a really exciting thing. If you're working on a document and perhaps a software update comes in uh, and you want to apply that update, this will actually take a, a snapshot of your open applications and when you restart your Mac after that software update, you can resume exactly from where you've left off. Mail 5, this excites me a lot. I'm a big mail application user, and this brings a new widescreen format to the application. Um, I use email every single day, as probably all of you do that are watching this video. So the new Mail version 5 really does look stunning in the new interface design. There's also a, a new sort of um, bar up the top here for quick access so you can see the messages you want really quickly. They're also introducing conversation flowing. So, um, or I should say, sorry, I'll, I'll correct that. They're introducing conversations, which is like threaded conversations within an email. Now we know how this works with things like SMS uh, text messaging, where you'll see the chat go down in a thread. They're introducing this to emails. This also happens within the mail application on the iPad and also the iPhone and iPod Touch and it groups together uh, those email conversations that have happened between two people or a group of people on a particular subject. So that's absolutely fantastic as well. It's looking very exciting. Now the last few bits they've updated on this page and the first one is AirDrop and that allows you to actually share files with people that are on your same network wirelessly. So you can simply drop files into the AirDrop folder and anyone else who is um, uh, sort of sharing within that folder will automatically get a copy of your file sent over to their machine. 
and then we got some improvements to Lion Server um, and this they don't give a lot of details about this on the website but there's a server setup so a new server setup a new profile manager and also wiki server as well just to make some of the features on Mac OS 10 Lion Server a lot more powerful so extremely easy to set up some fantastic features that are coming to Mac OS 10 Lion really looking forward to the summer of 2011 to get my hands on the final release version until then uh, enjoy your technology keep an eye on the Apple website I'm sure they'll be sort of pushing out a few more little updates to this page over the next few months thank you very much for watching please do subscribe to the Daily Tech TV channel and also to the Geek Noise channel and I'll see you in the next video